Hello friends. So in my this video, I will discuss about the construction of iron carbon diagram. So in my this video, I am not going into the details of all the phases that are present in iron carbon diagram, but just I will discuss how to construct the iron carbon diagram. What is the easy way to construct the iron carbon diagram? So to start with, we all know that. there are three very important reactions that occur in the iron carbon diagram so these reactions are eutectoid reaction eutectic reaction and peritectic reaction again not going into the details of these reactions as i will cover these reactions in one of my coming videos so the eutectoid reaction it takes place at 727 degree centigrade in iron carbon diagram eutectic reaction it takes place at 1147 degree centigrade and the peritectic reaction it takes place at 1493 degree centigrade so the very first step in the construction of iron carbon diagram after you draw the y and x axis and represent temperature on y axis and percentage of carbon by weight in iron on x axis the next step is you draw three parallel lines corresponding to these three reactions so you have to draw three parallel lines at 727 degree centigrade 1147 and 1493 degree centigrade so these lines they represent the temperatures of these three reactions now in order to pinpoint these reactions you need to you need to know the composition of alloy like in this case the eutectoid reaction it takes place at about 0.8% of carbon the eutectic reaction it takes place at about 4% of carbon and the peritectic reaction it takes place at about 0.5% of carbon so the second step after you draw these three parallel lines is to highlight these three points showing these three reactions now we all know that in pure iron there are three different phases in solid iron namely alpha ferrite which is bcc structure then gamma austenite which is fcc structure and then delta ferrite which is again converted to bcc structure so the alpha ferrite is stable up to in pure iron it is stable up to 912 degree centigrade the gamma austenite phase it is stable up to about 1400 degree centigrade and the delta phase it is stable up to 1539 degree centigrade which is the uh, melting temperature of pure iron so after that the iron exist in liquid state so each of these phases namely alpha gamma and delta they have some solubility limit for carbon like if we talk about the alpha phase alpha ferrite phase it has a solubility of 0.022% in solid solution of alpha ferrite carbon's solubility is 0.022% in alpha ferrite so for these three phases you have to pinpoint the solubility limits you have to highlight the solubility limits and these three solubility limits they will lie on these three lines the three lines that represent the different important reactions so like in this case the solubility of carbon in alpha solution it is 0.022% so it will lie on eutectoid reaction line then after that the solubility of gamma austenite solubility of carbon in gamma austenite solution solid solution it is approximately 2% and it will lie on the eutectic line and the last one is the solubility of delta ferrite so that solubility limit is about 0.2% so carbon has a solubility of 0.2% in delta ferrite so after pinpointing these three points the next step is 
how to join these points in order to construct the iron iron carbon diagram so this eutectoid line it contains two points one is eutectoid reaction then solubility of alpha phase the eutectic line again it contains two points one is the eutectoid reaction eutectic reaction and the solubility limit of gamma phase then finally this peritectic line we have already highlighted the peritectic reaction and solubility of carbon in delta so here you have to highlight one more point at about 1% of carbon so this line will contain three points rest all the two lines they will have two points one corresponding to the reaction and the other one corresponding to the solubility limit of carbon in the corresponding phases now the very important thing is you have to see how to join all these points so just you have to remember the pattern so i am going to start with the peritectic reaction so you need to join these two lines with this point one is corresponding to the start of delta phase other one is corresponding to the end of the delta phase both these they are joined to the solubility limit of carbon in delta phase then this top point you have to join with the third point which represents the 1% point on the iron carbon diagram and this second point which is at 1400 degree centigrade this you need to join with the peritectic reaction point that is 0.5% of carbon so it is very important that you start from here in order to avoid any confusion so once this pattern is clear rest joining all the points is very simple so here this point will be joined with the eutectic reaction peritectic reaction this line will be joined with the solubility of carbon in gamma solution then this solubility point joined with the <coughs> eutectoid reaction and the end of alpha phase this point 912 degree centigrade joined with the eutectoid reaction and finally this solubility limit joined with the first point so this is the complete iron carbon diagram so in this case here this region it contains delta phase only this region it contains gamma austenite phase only and this small region it contains alpha ferrite phase only and this is the liquidus line that is above this line the iron carbon alloys they exist in the liquid state so means this is the liquidus line so this line represent the melting point of the corresponding alloy so this is the small construction of the iron carbon diagram in my next video i will be discussing about the various phases and what are the changes occurring for a corresponding alloy as you increase or decrease the temperature so wait for my uh, next video thank you for now